Dr. Jerry Prevo has faithfully served as the pastor of Anchorage Baptist Temple in Alaska since 1971. He is a graduate of Baptist Bible College of Springfield and also studied at Tennessee Temple University. Under his leadership, Anchorage Baptist has grown spiritually and numerically. Since the early days of his ministry, he's emphasized the bus ministry as well as Christian education. He has led his church through several building programs, constructing multiple auditoriums and educational facilities on a 20-acre campus. Dr. Prevo is the CEO of a television station where his messages are watched daily. He has been an influential leader for conservative biblical candidates and causes. I believe America is morally sick. We save baby whales, but we kill human babies in the womb today. We have made unnatural marriage acceptable in this country. And God's word is very plain about that kind of lifestyle. He says it's an abomination. His church facilities have been shot at by gay rights activists. And Dr. Prevo's life has been threatened because of his biblical stand. He has met with multiple U.S. presidents, but according to Dr. Prevo, the highlight of his ministry is the 40,000 recorded salvation decisions during his ministry in Anchorage. We need some prophets of God to, today to stand in the pulpits instead of being sissies in the pulpit and telling people what they want to hear. They need to stand up and tell people what God wants them to hear, which is his word right here. I don't want to fill this church up with people that don't believe in Jesus, don't believe the Bible's the word of God, and don't believe trying to live like God has told them. I'm, I'm like the Marine Corps. I'm looking for a few good men and women that want to fight for the Lord Jesus Christ and be good soldiers. Tonight, we thank and honor Dr. Jerry Prevo for 47 years of faithfully serving Jesus Christ and his church. Tonight, Brother Prevo, if you'll come. So glad you're here. My first uh, interaction with Dr. Prevo was when my parents were missionaries in Korea, and uh, he supported our family there and actually visited the field and uh, took time with our family to encourage us in the work of the Lord there. Uh, later uh, in Bible college, I have a note up in my office from Dr. Jack Baskin. It said, um, Jerry Prevo would like to meet you down in the library to interview you to serve uh, with him at the Anchorage Baptist Temple. And the Lord did not lead that way in my life at the time. Uh, he brought me here to Lancaster, and there's a small handful of preachers that supported us. We came to 12 people here. They had a lawsuit pending. The, the buildings were in foreclosure. Uh, they said, we can't pay you, but we'd really like you to come be our pastor. And I, I remember writing to Dr. Prevo, and immediately their church began supporting us. And I'll always be indebted to those men that helped me when I came here to Lancaster Baptist Church. And it's just been such a joy and a privilege for me to watch how God has used this man in his life and in his ministry uh, over the years uh, to see him endure the threats that came against him and to stand faithfully. And uh, Dr. Prevo has... Uh, been a man with a heart for God. He's been honored in many places. Uh, he's been honored by men from Dr. Hiles to Dr. Falwell and everybody else in between. But today, Dr. Prevo, after 47 years in one church, uh, has come to the place where he's resigned his ministry. He's had some health problems, and he still has enough health to stay busy for the Lord, but felt like he should step out of the pastorate. And I felt at this point in his life and ministry that we Many of us who've watched his ministry and been inspired should take a moment to thank him for his faithfulness. And so tonight, we'd like to present you, Dr. Prevo, with the Soldier of the Faith Award presented to Dr. Jerry Prevo. Thank you for showing courageous faith in the service of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your work and labor is not in vain in the Lord. Would you thank Dr. Prevo for his service for the Lord?
Thank you, and thank you, Pastor Chapel. And you know, it will be worth it all when we see Jesus. Say amen. It will be worth it all. You know, it was my coming to a conference like this, with this kind of spirit, with this kind of preaching, this kind of teaching that challenged me to surrender my life to full-time Christian service and to go out where God would lead me and do the best I could to win everybody that I could to the Lord. And you know, I must confess to you that I haven't been in a conference like I used to go to in a long time until I came to this one this week. Sunday, tonight, this is getting back and this has probably been going on down here for a long time. He's been trying to get me to come down to California. I haven't heard anything good come out of California. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what I'm going away and saying, hey, everybody needs to go to Lancaster and see the Lancaster Baptist Church and the Pacific Coast uh, Baptist College because I'm going to tell you what, God is doing something here. And this is inspiring and inspired me years ago. And it's almost inspiring that I think I may go try to start a church someplace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So here for just one, Dr. Gibbs, if you'll come. By the way, he, he said Pacific Coast. That's where he met me. And uh, the Lord knew what he said. Uh, Gibbs, you come right here. Come right here. Good to see you. Good to see you. Come on, it is very heavy. Let's sit it down right here. Okay. <laughs> it's a great privilege for the Christian Law Association to bestow an award on this man. We were trying lawsuits all over Alaska because this man was standing against, now this is decades ago, against homosexuality and abortion. A pastor standing with him was assassinated. They pulled up next to his car and through the window shot him dead at a stoplight. And then they said, he was next. We're not gonna let that message invade our state. The chief of police in his town told me that that man's alive is nothing short of a miracle, but nothing can stop him. I want you to know this is a soldier of the cross. <laughs> And when this man and his precious wife walk through the gates of glory, the Lord's going to say, well done, thou good and faithful. I love this man. I love his passion. I love his voice. And most of all, I love the fact that the enemy could not shut him up. Would you thank him for being such a great soul? I love you, buddy. That's for you and your wife. I love you.